Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so uh, we're gonna move to the Q16 One Pro, One Pro 6 Pro One Unit, and we're gonna talk about how to configure logo for the One Unit and how to use the Open API to control the One Unit from remote sides. Okay, so uh, Q16 Pro One Unit support logos, uh, one layer of logos and uh, you can uh, use an, uh, any files, uh, any image file you like to store into the Q16 Pro One unit and use that file to as a logo and display only output. So let's check out how we can do it. First, you're gonna uh, upload the uh, it logo files to the SD card of the output modules. Let's check out how you can do it. So right here, I have an 2K Quad HDMI 1.3 output cards here. So um, you're gonna you're gonna find it on the back view right here. As SD card, okay, as SD card right here. So you're gonna take out the SD card. Press it. You're gonna take the SD card out, and uh, you're gonna find a card readers, and uh, you're gonna use this card reader, okay. So use the card reader, uh, insert it to your laptop, your, your computers, and you're gonna upload the uh, logo files, image files, to the, to the SD cards, and uh, you're gonna insert then, you're gonna take out the SD cards, insert it back to, to the uh, input board here, uh, output board here, okay? So then you're gonna take this output board, uh, install it back into the one unit, then, so you, that's all the preparation work for the, uh, for uploading the image files. Then you will go to the Xbox and to try, and you can configure the logos for the outputs. So let's check out how we can do it on the Xbox. Okay, so this is the Xbox interface. So I have already connected to the Q16 Pro One units here. So you will go to the main interface and you can see the output is connected, output, HDMI output two is connected to the uh, my main mix. And you're gonna click the uh, output port here. You go to the uh, setting here, you click the logo you will see the uh, option for the logos here. Here's some, uh, here are some notes for the uh, using a logo. So the format of the logo should be always be uh, BMP format and uh, for 24 bits. And the name uh, for each file, each file logo, logo file should be logo one to 10. So it supports uh, you uh, upload 10 logo files to the uh, to the Q16 one units. So the file name should be logo one to 10, okay? So I don't think the rest of it, uh, it doesn't really matter that much. You can read it on the uh, on your Xbox, so for the details. So right now I have upload the uh, 10 nights uh, logos files here. You can see here, if it's, uh, if, oh, actually eight. If it's available, it will say uh, logo one okay. And if the logo 9 and uh, 10 is not uploaded, so it will say not available here. So let's say, uh, let's choose logo 1 to start with. Okay, then go to the set logos. So currently it's set uh, disabled, so that's enable it, show logos. And at the X and Y value is the position of it. So after it, enable it, and go back and Press set, and let's see how it looks. So you can see on the top left corner, so the zero zero point, so that's my logo, so uh, RGB links logos. Okay, so let's try to switch logo to here. Just set, so you will change to another logo. And I'll, uh, press the third one, okay. It's so another one, so, okay. So for example, if I want to change the position of the logo, so I go to, let's move to, I want to move it to the center of it. Let's put 600, 
sorry, 600 and uh, by 500x Let's set. Okay, I check out the uh, output. Okay, so they move to the center. Uh, if I want it to the very right, oh, okay. So if I do this, okay, so yeah. It went too far actually. Uh, let's try 80 hundreds. Okay, let's check out the output. Okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. Let's try to another logo. Or let's actually move back to the zero point. Okay, try logo five here. Okay, so that's pretty much everything uh, for the logo. Okay, so you can see we can upload up to 10 logo files to each output uh, board. And you have to uh, take out the uh, output board and take out the SD cards and then upload, uh, store the files to that SD card and put it back to the uh, devices. Then you will control the uh, logo, how to, which one, which logo you want and which position you want to show on the final output on the Xbox, okay? So next we will talk about the open API controls for the Q16 Pro one unit. So let's check out the, oh, so, Q60 Pro one unit support open API. So if you have in your system, you have a, a, a control software, but uh, you, you don't want to use the Xbox software uh, to control the Q60 Pro one unit, then you can use your control software, your third party softwares, instead of the Xbox through using the uh, open API to control. So you will send command strings through the uh, a network, so through the uh, IP or through the uh, serial protocols. So let's check out. So first you will need to use the uh, open API file here. So you can download it uh, from us. So this file shows you the all the detailed informations. So the uh, string constructions and uh, connection protocols and uh, it has a few example of what kind of signal you're gonna send in in this file. So first of all, we're going to check out the, the overview of connection methods. So that's two ways connection, uh, uh, two ways to sending the uh, command strings, uh, as I mentioned. So first one is through the Ethernet protocol, so through UP and IP. So the protocol type will be UDP. And the IP address here is the uh, device, so Q16 Pro's uh, one unit IP address. And the port will be 1000, okay? So another way is through the uh, serial port uh, protocol. So if you are connecting the, uh, the, your system or your software through the, to the Q16 Pro one unit through the Ethernet port using the Ethernet protocol, you are using a serial, port, uh, serial protocol to transmit the uh, command the stream, okay? So uh, right now I'm connecting to my uh, Q16 Pro one unit through the uh, Ethernet port, and you can see the IP address right here. Okay, so that's a default IP address. So I'm using the uh, Pocket Sender. So it's a free software, um, just for demonstration today. So I'm gonna follow the instruction on the uh, manuals. Okay, right here I set the uh, receiving address as my Q16 Pro one unit uh, IP address and the port as 1000 as the uh, as here right here in the menu. And I'm gonna use the UTP protocol here, okay? So let's check out a few examples uh, to control the uh, Q6 Pro one unit through the uh, Open API. So let's see which one I want to check. Okay, mm, so okay, let me show you uh, what kind of pro, uh, function does it provide? So the first one, you can read and write uh, videos, processes, informations, 
and uh, to power on the on and off the devices from the uh, Open API, and you can load things. So you can change if you have a few different things set on the one unit, then you can uh, load things, change the things to different ones using a portal uh, of an API. And you can queue the sequence number of the current things. Uh, okay, then you can save things uh, using API. So queue the uh, temperature values. And you can do queue the fan speeds. Okay, um, this one seems pretty fun. So <laughs> let's try to uh, test with this one. Okay, let's check out the uh, uh, command structure, the data structure of the, uh, uh, the command string. So the header will be the uh, bracket. So it's, uh, so we'll we'll be using the uh, the ASCII to uh, the mode to send the signal here. So the first uh, the header will be a, a bracket, and the transmit is a T. So T means is transmitting, and F means receiving, and the uh, address header so zero zero the SN data is S zero zero. And the command mode is 68. And the data bit one, data bit, data bit one is 2B. It's in hex mode. So uh, the, all the data will be in hex mode, hex, hex decimal, OK? So, so the data one is 2B. And that means queue the fan speed, uh, fan speed range from 0 to 100 uh, expressed in hex decimal. So uh, the data two, data three, data four will all be 0. And the last data byte is the checksum. So the checksum, you will add all the uh, data, byte, data bytes from the address to data four together, and that will be your checksum. And the end with uh, back brackets. Okay, let's try how we can do it. So let's see, let me delete the, the one. So I will start with a bracket, and a T means uh, I'm sending the command string. So the first two byte as zero zero and another zero zero and sixty eight and two b and zero 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 and now I am trying to calculate the checksum so we will bring out the uh, any hex decimal calculator you have you can use this one so uh, the it comes with the uh, uh, it's window Windows default calculator so you're gonna change it to uh, hex mode so right here. So I'm going to add the 6, 8 with the 2 plus 2, B, because other bytes are all 0. So you only add this, those two data together. So it gives you 93 in hex. So 93 here. Okay. So that completes our command stream. And I'm going to press send here. You will, and, OK. So right here, you see we have sent this data string. So, okay. So this one is I uh, we sent it from my laptop to the uh, Q6 from one unit. Then it's receiving from the one unit. That's receiving because it started with F, so it's receiving. So let's check out the, uh, the data. If it gives us a uh, uh, Typical usage here. So uh, the readback, the, the the command we receiving, the data receiving from the Q16 Pro one unit. So after the data two, the the data two after the data one, uh, actually data one, it it gives you the information whether the fan speed automatic automatic control is on. So zero zero means the uh, the automate automatic fan speed. Fan speed control is off. Zero one means that's on. So let's check out the here. So zero one that means the automatic fan control is on, and then the the second data bit. So data two, the twenty three here. That's the fan speed, the current fan speed. So that's in hex. So in the manual, actually there is a reference table. So decimal to hex, hex decimal right here. So we're going to find 23 right here. That's 35 in uh, decimal. So the fan speed, current fan speed is 35 out of uh, uh, 100. Okay. 
so that's how you're gonna how you can use the fan speed Q fan speed data stream to get the information of the fan speed of the Q Q16 Pro one unit. Okay, that's one example. Let's take a look at the uh, another example. Actually, if at the output. Okay, so what we want to do is try is the load things right here. This one here. So let's go to the Xbox right here. So I have set the uh, few things already. I have set four, so four different things. Okay, so let's try to change the thing to sync preset two using the Xbox. Let's check out the output current uh, outputs. So okay. So let's try again. So we check to okay. So that's the current output of from uh, my Q16 one uh, Pro one units. Okay. So it's uh, preset two. Okay. Let's try to use the uh, command string to change it to preset three here. Okay. Let's go back to the menus. So the data structure here, the header, the transmit is also it's again it's T and start with uh, uh, two bytes of zero and command is 68. Here the uh, data one is 18 in hex, so that means load things. And data two, uh, so from zero to 16, from zero to uh, zero F, that means uh, from one from zero to 15 in uh, in decimal mode. So that's so uh, in Xbox it's for 16 presets, 16 things. So we, we can read from so that's that's data two is which thing you want to load. Okay. So other beds are uh, data three, data four, no use, so zero and the checksum. Okay, let's let's try it. Let's see how we can do it. So we will erase. So we start with a T, that means we are transmitting a signal to the one unit and 0, 0, 0, 0, 68. And uh, 18 means we are loading the things. And then the sync number. So it starts with a 0, 0. So we want to do uh we want to load sync three. That means we're gonna use 0, 02 here. Okay. Uh, data three is zero, data four also not use zero. Now we're gonna calculate the checksum. Okay, we're gonna bring out the calculator here. So it will be 68 in hex decimal plus 18. So the data one and then data three, data two is zero two plus two. Okay, so it gives you the 82. So the checksum is 82 here. So we press set. Okay, so this one is the string we're sending to the uh, one unit, and this one string is the uh, string that confirms string from the uh, one unit. So you can see the from uh, from T the first head, first uh, data from change from add T to add from transmit to receiving. Okay, so okay, that's the output right there. Um, it's uh, maybe you, you guys want to see let's another check example. Out the outputs. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Q the sequence number of the current things. The current thing right now is things press uh, preset three. So that's the current thing you can see. Okay, let's see how we can read the current thing uh, sequence from the uh, devices using the here. So we're gonna do it. Uh, okay. So it will start with a T, it means transmitting, and the zero 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 at sixty eight, and the nineteen means is queuing the sequence number of the current things, and then we had data two, and data three, data four are not used. Okay, and we're gonna calculate the checksum. Okay, so it's 68 plus 19 in hex, so it gives 81. 81 here. Okay, we're gonna send. Okay, so that's one we sent. We're receiving the data stream. 
Okay, so you're gonna refer to the uh, command readback. So the data two will show you the uh, which one, uh, which thing is currently on the output. So we can see here the data two, I uh, mean, uh, it, the readback string data two is uh, zero two. That means the uh, currently the number three thing is out on the output. Okay. So that's how you can use the uh, Open API to control the uh, Q16 Pro One unit, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, and thanks for watching the uh, joining us for today's webinar sections. You guys have seen the audio interface and uh, audio control for the uh, Minimix. And we have just checked how we can configure the uh, logos and for the Q16 Pro One unit and how we can use the Open API to control the uh, Q16 Pro One unit. Okay. Uh, it's great to have you, everyone here to join us for today's webinar. Uh, we're going to see you, I think, our next webinar is on next Tuesday. So. Uh, you guys are welcome to join our next webinar on Tuesday and we will talk about uh, what's new for our Minimix and, uh, and also for the Q16 Pro uh, one unit or, and uh, four units. And again, subscribe, subscribe our channels to, and come to our channel, check out what's going on with RGB Link and what's new about RGB Link products. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Luke. We are on live in Shaman at RGB Link headquarters office. See you next week.